I say yeah. <laughs> it's your boy, motherfucker Jones, and it's your boy, Doodle Boy Fuge, and welcome to Up and Coming. You heard? Today, 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 we got something good for you. We got another beautiful guest, the one and only Amanda. Come on, come on. Let me get some applause for you. Hold up. Oh, shit. Thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Amanda. They call me Yonkers Best Esthetician. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Because I was going to, look, I was going to let her do it, but I, I feel it's better if I introduce you. Please. You feel Thank what I'm you. saying? Yeah. This is one of Yonkers' best estheticians, the only one that I actually go to. That's the difference. Because you could be like, oh, my esthetician is amazing. Da -da -da -da. Do you actually go to her? Do you promote her? Do you support her? I do that. So, without any more interruption, take it away. So he's absolutely right, but I just want to make a mini correction. Oh. He said I'm one of Yonkers best esthetician. She said I'm the. I'm not cocky, I'm confident, but I am Yonkers best esthetician. The. Amanda. The best esthetician. I, 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 I can't say that only because I don't know That's what the hell you. it takes to be <laughs> or who the hell is doing what they're doing, and I'm never going to take anything away from you. I don't even know what the hell an esthetician is. See, but you. that's what I was reading. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so I don't what even. Is that? Like, what an do you be an esthetician? Is a, is a skin specialist. So, okay. uh, for instance, I'll talk about myself because every esthetician is different. Um, I focus mainly on facials, laser hair removal, waxing. Um, I offer an amazing service called um, the Vajacial. Ooh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get into that eventually. Definitely. Um, I hand make my own products. So, I mean,. Some people focus mainly on the waxing aspect. Some people like more so the facial aspect. I like to dip and dab and like everything. In uh, my but like, all right, oh. something a lot of, <laughs> something a lot of people don't realize is like estheticians are also um, licensed makeup artists, but like you'll never see. Ah, uh, see, that's why I was saying what I was saying. I don't it's know what an course. esthetician. It's part of the course. Uh, you'll never see me making a dollar off of makeup because I don't care for it. Like, it's not something that like, I love, it's not something I enjoy doing, so I'm very, like, true to myself. Ah, I and see. I don't want to make money off of something just for the sake of making money off of something because, oh, yeah, I'm licensed, I could do it anyways, but I don't love it, so I'm like, you'll never see me doing makeup. But ah, I feel you, I feel you. get a whole aesthetics license to simply focus on makeup, so it depends on which esthetician you're talking about. If you're talking to me, I like facials, laser hair removal, waxing, um, making my own products, and so on and so forth. All right, so I could definitely say you the best at y'all because of that, because, yeah, because I don't even know who else is doing that. <laughs> like, you are really killing the game, bro. Like, you are, you're not only killing the game, you're also bringing other people up with you, right. which is amazing. Right. So, I want you to tell us a little bit more about your business. So, start with the business name, what you okay. do. The type of services actually get into that vajayshul shit because okay. I know people want to okay. know. So, <laughs> my spa's name is Abdel Noor Day Spa. Um, Abdel Noor uh, is my grandfather's name. I was born in Egypt, um, came here when I was three, and Abdel Noor basically means slave of light. Oh, yeah. So you like a genie, like like a lad, like <laughs> like a vajayshul genie. genie. Dude, bars! You got a new <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Look, you got a new <laughs> shirt coming. <laughs> So yeah, um, like I was talking about earlier, I like to focus on facials, laser hair removal, waxing. Um, we love what we do. I say we because I do have somebody else working with me. Um, shout outs to Just Finesse, um, Just Wax Me. Yeah. Uh, that is, that is, that is, that is, that I location. Oh yeah, location. I was about to say, Where that is not it. Art Studio, um, 578 Nepperhan Avenue. Um, 
Yeah, you can literally just Google though, like Abdel Noor Day Spa, and um, we're on. Spell like, it for them. They never gonna know. A B D E L N O U R. Spa. You know how to spell spa, and if you don't, you yeah, stupid. Spa. No, I'm trying. Like, <laughs> no, I'm trying. <laughs> 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 nah, anyway. I, honestly, that that was my biggest hang up trying to find you at first yeah. because I. I'm a little dyslexic sometimes. No, I understand. I told it's Fuse, I told Fuse that joke earlier. He he he, he laughed at me, <laughs> but like I be getting C's and S's mixed up and B's and D's mixed up sometimes. So like when I would type you in, I'll put the D before the B, and I never find you. And I'm like, oh my god. But you know, I got it down packed now because you know, <laughs> you my <laughs> esthetician. You know, but we are on that brand. And um, we're open every day that ends in day. <laughs> so pretty much every day. Um, we not Chick Fil A. <laughs> like. And you know we're on Google, so a lot of um, people don't really like trust just anybody to go to for like a wax or a facial. So we're on Google. We have like eighty something reviews on Google. Um, I think like fifteen or some on reviews on Yelp. Oh. I just got on YouTube. Um, I'm trying to pop off my TikTok and my Instagram. Content, Ooh, content, content, B. I can't wait. I can't wait. Super excited. I just opened up. Well, I'm not just opened up. I've had my boutique for a year. But, you know, we're really trying to, like, pump the boutique and stuff and promote, like, more so, like, online. Because nowadays with coronavirus and everything going on, it's kind of hard to do, like, a shopping spree in person. But we do offer one-on-one, -on -one, um, like, a shopping experience for the boutique. So oh, okay. that's what I'm trying to focus on mainly right now. Basically, just making sure your business is able to maneuver through this, yeah. whatever the hell is going on. Absolutely. That's 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 dope. That's definitely dope. I um, I I wanted to ask you something. What made you start doing what you're doing? Like, I understand, like, you know, people have those dreams. Like, as a kid, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. Like, what made you be like, I want to dig in people's skin. <laughs> Which is it? Or whatever you, you know, whatever route. How did you even get to this point? Okay. Yeah. So I was um, a receptionist at two different spas in my life. And ah, okay. I was a receptionist for a while. So, like, probably like four years out of my lifetime um, at, like, said specific spas. And um, I found myself, like, doing things to help myself with my insecurities. You know, like, w um, women are always told, told like, oh, like, you know, just shave. Or, like, we don't want to talk about our darkness or our irritation or our whatever we got going on down there. It's always, like, so swept under the rug and, like, hush, hush, don't talk about it. Just, like, deal with it in your own pain. And like, like most like, things. Sometimes, yeah, but, like, <laughs> most things for women. Correct yourself. <laughs> oh, I was just most talking about... for women. Okay. Because okay. this is, like, okay, a man can walk around with a hairy-ass chest and nobody will blink twice. But let a woman have, like three underarm hairs and they're like oh my god you don't shave like it gets to that no oh yeah i understand the That's differences i, I was That's talking about the irritation oh, and stuff like okay. we don't want to talk about the shit that hurt us like <laughs> <But you're laughs> um, it was it was kind of like something that was so it's like an untouched territory and like all taboo I saw, all i saw from it was like okay like i'm clearly i'm helping myself because my areas are getting better you know um, let me really put this into full, full fledge. And then when I went to school, I really started to like dip and dab and like do my research. Yes. Hold up. Key point. She said, I helped myself. Then I went to school. So like she did it both ways, you yeah. know? Oh yeah. I was, listen, I'm, I don't knock the hustle. Okay. I was. Um, unlicensed waxing my friend's older sisters for twenty dollars a Brazilian. See now I'm licensed years later and I'm charging sixty six a Brazilian. So it's See? like growth. Growth, <laughs> yeah, growth, but I, investment. It's not just about the growth. It's about the investment because like when I went back to school for aesthetics, like I had already gotten my degree in college, so financial aid didn't cover anything. Exactly. I had to spill out my last. All right, thirteen thousand dollars. <laughs> you know so what I'm in out of pocket. So in part, investing in yourself is exactly. how you got here. Yeah. But investing is that growth that I'm talking Absolutely. about. Because realistically, like, if you didn't understand that you needed right. that extra oomph or that extra portion of growth, yeah. you wouldn't have reinvested in yourself. You would have felt like. See, this is the thing. If you don't invest in yourself, who will? 
Like, if Facts. I can't look myself in the mirror and be like, you are a future millionaire. You are going to take everything that you have and put it all in one fucking basket because you know you got that in the bag. Like, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's different than, oh, yes. I didn't want you to stop, no, though. please, go ahead. I just wanted to ask. Yeah. So, going from a receptionist working in a spa, mm -hmm. with this ambition that we're hearing about, right, yeah. and this determination, did that exist then, or those experiences kind of ignited this this ambition? So I had an epiphany. I like legit. I know it sounds like super cliche, and it's like always self telling. Nah, I had a that's a raving really moment too. Had, I can't. That ass. <laughs> and this was um, after I graduated college. I went down and lived in Florida by myself. I like left my family, left my friends, and everything. I moved down to Florida by myself for a year. And again, I found myself working at a spa. Before I had moved to Florida, I was also working at a spa in New York for a couple years. So, like, I knew I liked it. Like, I kept finding myself, like, being drawn back into the spa field. And then one day I was, like, you know, doing, like, basic receptionist stuff, like, sweeping and stuff. And I'm like, hold up. Like, I can do this. You exactly. Like, if I put my mind to it, like, I can really do this because... I was handling inventory, I was handling back work, I was handling the customer service with the clients, I was handling the product knowledge, I was handling the professionalism, I was doing all that. The only thing that was missing that I wasn't doing like at that time and that spa was actually physically doing like the services. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I know I got the hands for it because I used to do it on my friends back in New York and their sisters and so on and so forth, you know? Exactly. So I knew as long, like, at that moment is like literally like a light switch just smacked me in my face and I called my mom that night. I remember like it was yesterday. I called my mom. Mom, I'm going to move back, um, you know. <laughs> and I this is what I want to do. And she's like, "Okay, you know, like my mom wanted me to move back to New York anyways because I wasn't near her obviously." Exactly. So she's like, "Okay, yeah." yeah. She said, "Whatever you yeah, want to do, yeah, baby, just, just come." come. And it's like, <laughs> mom's like it's very uncommon for an Arabic girl to leave the household before marriage. So like I'm not your Typical. Typical Arabic girl. Like, you know, <laughs> but like, um, you know, I, I love the fact that my mom was like, yeah, absolutely. Like, come back home. You know, you always, you're always good. So I came back home, got on my feet. Um, as I came back home August 2016 and I went, I, I put myself in school for this September 2016. I oh, so you, it was no lag period. time. There was no, there was no thinking about it. It was just like, you, you know hit what? the ground I'm, running. I'm going to put That's how you got to do it. One basket, and if they crack, they fucking crack. What do mm -hmm. I, you know, what do I do mm -hmm. at that point? But, um, you know, I put, I put my faith into myself and I finished school February 2017 and I opened up shop May 2017 and I haven't looked back since. But, but you, I need you to touch on something because you kind of glossed over it and that is amazing. Not only did you realize your passion because a lot of people go through so many things like school x y and z like you said you you went to school bro I like there's there's things that i feel like we need to like magnify just because these are the type of conversations that people don't have you feel me like i hit a wall i was not liking what i was doing i was okay with doing just this but then you found what you wanted to do and then you invested in yourself, not just doing a whole bunch of shit and investing, 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 and going through the motions. Like, no, I had a very everything was very I stuck to my guns. Like, couldn't nobody bring me off of my track. It was like tunnel vision. Like, it it was almost like I set it in stone for myself before I even knew like what I was getting myself into. You know what I'm saying? A couple like, years later, got a popping ass boutique yeah. and a slogan. Yeah. <laughs> Do you even? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> nah, yo, honestly, I'm I'm so dope to be your client because I'm also your friend. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like I've seen your growth. I've seen all of this come to fruition. So it's like I I feel dope just being able to know you, to be able to yo, can I? Like yeah. and I don't have to Go searching for an esthetician because yeah. a dude knowing what the hell an esthetician is, like, that makes no sense. But for you to be coming from Yonkers, to be such a, a regular with our community because you give to our communities, you actually service our community. So, like, I want to thank you, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you're doing your thing, man, you. you know, and I wanted to... 
showcase what yeah, you was doing. Me because, you of know, course. I also watched you grow as well. So it's it's a two way street. You know, it's beautiful when two friends, even though granted, like we don't see each other all the time, we don't talk every time, but we already know, like every time we link, it's all like, hey, nothing but love and it's Always. like genuine. You know, there's love and then there's like genuine love. I show everybody genuine love. You show everybody genuine. Love. I don't there's know how not, to do anything else. There's, there's <laughs> not many people out there that can genuinely do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the fact that we're able to do that, you're able to acknowledge my growth and, and big me up for my growth. I'm able to big Facts. you up the same exact way because you did it too. Nah, I appreciate that. <laughs> Hold up, give me two seconds. That was, uh, that was like an Oprah moment. I was about to say, I had to get I had to get that out, and I started it wrong because I meant to say, uh, it's dope, and I said, I'm dope. But, but you were <laughs> dope, so you were right both ways. Nah, but I appreciate that. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I just wanted to say that because I feel like, like, like you, you be saying, bro, like, we don't give people. Their flowers. Not even just flowers, but we don't give people the opportunity to see that our words mean something. Like, mm -hmm. they're not just words. Like, we could type it all day. We could send a text. We could. You know what I'm saying? But like to to see the body language, to hear the vocal cords actually match up with what you're saying, like I feel like that means more. Like we need more in person feelings. Like there's too much fake support, fake whatever that you need to well, know the person that is coming the fake from. Support and the fake love. Oh, let's, let's it was a gloss. It was a gloss. <laughs> Nah, we facts. Kind of that and we look for the positive in every nah, facts, facts, facts. That's that's the type of person I am. But I would be remiss to not, you know. But uh, realistically, like the things that you're doing, I'm loving. Like all aspects, you're you're branching out into merch. You're you're branching out into more services. You're you're adding on to your catalog, and like I'm. I'm excited to see what's next. So, like, what's next for you in Abdel Nur's spot? Um, we got a lot going on. Uh, like I said, I am popping off my YouTube channel, um, trying to get more views on, like, just, like, all of my content and all social medias. I recently reached, like, 46-something thousand on one of my um, extraction videos. <laughs> about that. It's a gang. Um, one has like 15,000. <laughs> That's awesome. I know it sounds like, like, it's like shallow kind of, but to me it's not shallow because that's how I make my money. So what? It's, it's like, growth. It's, nah, and, yeah, that's, and it's accountability of, of where you come from with it and where you're going. So exactly. The algorithms of today, like yeah, business-wise. So so you got people you know, upset they don't get any likes and you're happy that you get in growth period like you got people that are like i want to be here and you're like yo i'm hype i got this like yeah. come on bro like but people she said though bro like she said extractions but yo she's like popping pimples bro and yo like, like digging like, in your like, shit like, really, like <laughs> getting white pegs, black heads. yo ooh, i'm about i'm about to put my video up <laughs> bro, that's what it is. It's like, yo, bro, and you be I'm the like the passion, a fact, the passion you have with this. It's, I, I was talking to you off camera, like, yo, the passion that you have when you watch her do it, because, like, believe it or not, bro, it's a whole world of that, like, on YouTube with people who, like, a community who's into that. I'm, like, you know? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> so, like, Hello. when you see her doing it and you hear her narration over it, it'd be like, yo, bro, this person really loves this. Like, yo, really dead serious, geeked off of. Getting, She's like, like ooh, like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? That's that's that passion um, is is rare because it's not really. It's a, you get a fulfillment. It seems like from helping others in this in this area. Feel like, like when, when dead said, serious. Like, when as a as a customer, he said it proudly. Like he said it happily, dead like, serious. Like, he, he enjoyed the service of it. I'm gonna to show my video. Yeah, I'm gonna put my video. My video you talk up. about just like you know your, your your heritage a little bit and and where you come from it's dope to see how that displays in your work ethic as well as in the brand like the quality of your merch that you have on and you were telling me like yeah that's you know that's some of the new merch just looking at the craftsmanship but the craftsmanship of it 
Why has that been a super major ingredient for you, just doing everything with quality? You even spoke on earlier, not even aligning with certain things that morally don't connect with so you. So it's, it's very important to remain true, right? So it's like, as far as quality goes, right? Am I Groupon priced? No. Are you gonna get a $20 facial by me? No. Are you gonna get a $15 wax by me? No. But when I do something, I put my everything that I have into that, whatever it is that I'm doing, whether it's a facial, a vajayshal, a wax, a whatever, I put my all into it. Why? Because I pride myself in quality. It takes me sometimes months before coming out with a new design or a new, um, just a new, you know, there's more than just like designs that goes into merchandise and people mm -hmm. don't realize that. Exactly. It's, it's, Spending your freaking money on samples that on you're sample never going to use. You're never <laughs> going to use. You're never going to use them. So you got all these one-on-ones, one-on-ones that you paid like $200 mm -hmm. for. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And it's like a sweatsuit. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah, it's it's quality over quantity always for always. my business and my brand. I, I take so much pride in that. Like, I want when you put on my stuff, you feel as good as I feel when I'm putting on my stuff. Because I want you to rock it with that kind of a swag. Like, you know? Um, and also as far as services goes, I pride myself so heavily on, you know, I, I, when, when we started off, I said not to sound cocky, I, I'm just being honest. Like I am the best at what I do and it's okay to say that you're the best at what exactly. you do when you're providing the quality work to back it up. Like exactly. I can show you pictures of my before and afters. I can show you videos of my extractions, taking hairs out that the naked eye cannot see. I don't have a naked eye. I have a quality eye. Mm -hmm. I have a quality eye for Let my work. Know. Speak your shit. <laughs> <laughs> also for my merch, you know, I want like a lot of times men be like, "Oh, sis, you don't have." I have something for everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like what I've realized is in this business, you can't cater to every single mm -hmm. person. Facts. Right? There's gonna be somebody out there that doesn't like me or my services or my policies or my business or my brand or the colors of the sweaters that I'm making, whatever. There's somebody out there that's not going to be all for you and all your eggs in your basket, right? But th those are your eggs in your basket. So as long as you stay true to yourself, what I'm basically trying to get at with this is like quality to me is trueness. Am I going to throw out a shirt that cost me $5 to make and put it out there for $55? No, that's not for the people. You understand what I'm saying? But if I got a nice sweater... Um, you know, and I know I paid money for it, like good money to have it produced and to have it made, you know, it balances out. Like, I'm not going to charge you 70, 80, 90 dollars a sweater, but I will charge you 50 because it's comfortable and it's cute. <laughs> I told you quality shit. Quality over quantity, <laughs> always. And I stand with my whole chest with that. And also, I want to get back to what we were talking about. I think we got a little... I was about to say, I, I, I was waiting for you to finish. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff, um, um, I said intern, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um, I have a lot of stuff in, in the, in the works. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm super excited. Um, I don't want to give too, too, too much detail, but I do definitely want to say there's so much more out there that we're going to get. I'm going to. We're going to get. We're going to yeah, get. Yeah, because I did that on my podcast. <laughs> verbiage, you know, but, um. Yeah, there's so much that we're coming out with and that we're doing, and it's so exciting. But for now, um, I want to focus on our boutique. I want to focus on our hands-down amazing services that make people feel great. And I say people because people hear the word spa and instantaneously think women. Hello. That's not true, okay? Men and women go to spas, whether it be for facials, a product, mm -hmm. waxing, Skin is skin, whether it's on a man or a woman. Skin is skin. Ingrowns is ingrowns, whether it's on a man or a woman. They don't discriminate, right? But I'm here to help everybody. But basically, look out for the boutique. We got a lot of new stuff coming in with that. Um, look out for my YouTube channel. We're really trying to, like, you know, hit some licks on there. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, I am training Jess to do my lasers and my um, facials. She's not New York State licensed, so she's not anybody else's esthetician besides my own, because I'm not going to sue her. <laughs> <laughs> but also, because I'm 
because she's not up for grabs for clients yet in regards to that. But waxing, she's totally 110% certified, licensed by New York State. So she's good on that. But, um, you know, I take a lot of pride in investing in my business. Like, we'll stay there sometimes to, like, 12 a.m. She'll be giving me facials. She'll be doing my lasers. Um, my best friend, Kevin, uh, we make him come in so she can give him facials, too. Basically, I'm trying to train her so that way once she gets to that you know, license level, it's no models, it's no training. It's like, homegirl, we were doing that for a whole year, so you got that in the bag. You know what I mean? Exactly. But that's what I mean by investing in your future. Like, she is my future. She is my ticket to help me to expand because my ultimate goal is I really wanted to do this last year, and it kind of gets me like, gets me like a little emotional. <laughs> but I really wanted to open up a shop in New Jersey. Oh, okay. Um, because I get a lot of clients from Jersey, and they're always like, oh, my God, there's nobody like you in Jersey. And I'm like, Jersey's right there. It's, it's not like that right far there. at so that's all. Why I get a lot of clients. Let me find out that's going to be the next. It is. What? But, you know, I'm working on it. Okay, but okay. That's why I'm investing in my future now, and we're kind of, like like I said, I'm low-key tra training Jess to, um, you know, do everything that I do. Correction. So, high, high key. High key. High key. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> she's not licensed, so she's not up for, like, you know, I have a bunch of people that whenever they see her giving me facials, they're like, they always hit me up and they're like, oh, um, you got I'm another person? Oh, no, nah. I'm willing to be a model for her. And I'm like, no. <laughs> people ask like, to be models? Yeah. Because, I thought. Because they know I'm not going to let them. I know, like, okay, when she was training with waxing, oh, my God, we trained for, like, a month and a half straight. Oh, so After. niggas was like, let me get this free shit. Basically. Oh! Basically, I'm trying to explain to people, like, she's not licensed yet. So she's not giving just anybody random a facial. You know, she's just giving me a facial and she's training. Because if she me. hurts you, nigga, you ain't suing my friend. Get out of here. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> that my shit. Brand, facts, you know? facts. But, yeah, so that's what we're working on right now. But, inshallah, I definitely want to get my hands on Jersey. Um, because I feel like Jersey's, like, right over the bridge and I can just hop back and mm -hmm. forth. Definitely. But, you know, how how can I grow? If I'm one person, there's only but so much I can do but physically be in one space. Exactly. Like, right now, I can't be getting work done elsewhere because I'm here getting work done here. There's exactly. one of me, right? But with Jess, now there could be possibly two of me. Ah. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to double up. But, you know, I'm trying to bring my people up with me because that's what it's all about. Like, Jess and I, we've been, you know, best friends for 10 plus years. So it's just not like... I don't trust her. I trust her with my everything that I own. You know, it's, I know she works good. She likes, she loves what she does. She doesn't like it. She loves what she does, you know? And I'm investing my time, my energy, my effort, my money into her learning because I know eventually I could be like, all right, Jess, are you going to hold down Yonkers for me? I'm going to be out of the office Monday to Wednesday. I'm going to be in Jersey, you know? That's Build that shit up happen. and do how you got to do it. I can't, I'm, I would never be like, oh, I'm not in Yonkers. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so I just want to put that out there because I would never let my grip go from Yonkers because this is my hometown. This is my baby. This is where I come from. When I first came to this country, we lived on Neferhan Avenue, 223 Neferhan Avenue to be exact. She says, so basically, so that's my baby. I ain't going nowhere I'm if I also anywhere, build this shop like, in Jersey. <laughs> if I'm expanding, like, obviously, I have to be able to hold myself down in Yonkers while you know, taking that L while starting up the business in, in Jersey. Because any business that you start up automatically first year is an L. That's just what it is. It just happens. But it takes time to build. Exactly. But it's not going to be that much of an L because I'm going to have her helping me out in the sense of, okay, you hold this down. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go take care of this, you know. But it's investing in myself. Even though I'm not the one physically getting trained and stuff like that, I'm training her. You know, I'm putting my energy, my effort, and everything in for her to then help you too. But let's to keep this thing on track. Yeah, I didn't want it to get you know. Shout out to Jess. We haven't even talked about the vajayshu yet. Yeah. What is that? Okay. So what does it sound like? <laughs> it sounds like a vagina facial, but I ain't want to make no assumptions because exactly. I ain't never had a vajayshu. So off with a full wax, front to back, front being the vagina, back being the booty hole. Um, <laughs> Booty and hole. then after a full wax, we would do a double cleanse with steam hitting the area. So basically, it's opening up your pores and it's also removing any sort of dirt, oil, you know, anything that's kind of just chilling on the surface of your skin. And then after that, your your skin is like, uh, your pores are nice and open and they're ready to be extracted. Um, in this case, it's mainly ingrowns. But we've also seen blackheads, pimples, 
whiteheads, it's all totally common, you know. It's not spoken about, but it's more common than what people think, okay? Um, and then after that, we do a light, so after the extractions, we do a lightening and brightening mask, which is typically my handmade toner, um, the rose gold toner mixed with my moisturizer, which is the Touch of Gold moisturizer. We let that sit, we let that sit for a few minutes, and then um, we remove it and reapply the toner and moisturizer, and then we send you on your happy vacation way. See, see, I, it's very good. It sounds very like good. it. I don't it even got a vagina. Like a and a matching thong to go with it. I had it. I didn't have a vagina, and she broke it down to me. So I was yeah. like, "Shorty, how'd that sound?" <laughs> and she told me it was amazing. You a lot of clients that bring their boo and yes. like they boo. Wanna I watch. just said, yeah. "Oh, want to watch?" Yeah, that's because that's what I would want to do. I gotta bring. I gotta yeah, because I would want to watch. I was about to say that was. That was probably the most interesting part. It was like, oh. Absolutely, yeah. All right, so all of that goes down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's. Honestly, this was needed because I didn't understand, one, what an esthetician was. <laughs> and I'm sure there's more people out there like that. Absolutely. But I wanted to give you a platform to show people what you do, what you're about, and why you do what you do, and how passionate you are. Because... Passion, not everybody could pick that up as we do. Because like he said, he watched the video and picked it up. I've known you, so I was yeah. graced to know your passion. People need to see that because people want to have their stuff, literally, <laughs> in the passion in people's hands because you'll understand how to take care of it. But I want to end this on you plugging your YouTube your your website, your everything because realistically go like this. He's gonna put everything below. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> but I need oh, you to you spell it for me one okay. more time and tell people what you got coming out on where? YouTube and TikTok and X, Y, and Z. Okay. So I have um a bunch of extraction videos coming out on my YouTube. Um I have I want to start something like, I want your idea. I want <laughs> your opinion on this. I got I you. Start like a, like a semi podcast. Mm. But don't worry. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. We, we know you got the podcast. Your boy is never today. worried. But what I want to do, <laughs> do it is like, I know a lot of people, and um, I want to do kind of like um, the masked millionaire. Oh, that would be dope. I know a lot of millionaires. And when we're just sitting there chopping it up, talking, like, they drop such gems on me. And I'm like, gosh, people would, you know what I'm saying? Like, really benefit from hearing this. And it's average, just regular, chopping it up like how we're doing right now. Like, this is how it is. So I, I want to add, incorporate something similar to that into my YouTube because I want to I wanna share my information. Like, I, be, that's, the, that's the most important I'm a part. Millionaire without being a millionaire. See, this is the thing that people don't understand. It is a mindset. It is definitely a mindset. So look out for something like that on my YouTube. I'm, you know, working on that. Also, a whole bunch of merch, um, like a whole bunch of merch. I'm very excited. That's about on that. the website, right? That's going to be on my website. Yeah, my, uh, my website has its own boutique section and all that. Um, Where can they book you? They can book me directly on Instagram. I have a book now link. And also through my website is also a book now link. As and well. that's... And that's Abdel Noor Day Spa. A B D E L N O U R D A Y S P A dot com. All right. And then it's the same thing for the Instagram, except Abdel Noor underscore Day Spa. See, see, that's why you gotta plug me so that, so and people then know. YouTube, Abdel Noor Day Spa. All right. See, <laughs> let them know. Be. TikTok is Abdel Noor Day Spa. I'm Just search Abdel Noor Day Spa. I'm going to put them in the description. I'm going to put them in the description. You go. You're going to get okay. all your stuff because you deserve everything you. that's coming to you. Thank You've you worked so for it. For of course, of course. And on that note, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you thank for you showing up and kicking it with us over here at oh, Up and Coming. Up. It's your boy, Reezy, a.k.a. Narel. Your favorite neighborhood, Ugly. Do the boy feels. <laughs> Yo, we out of here. You heard? And soon to be New Jersey. Yo, see, facts. See, she moving across the across the water. I want to visit with a year. Oh, you you want a year or two? You can year. Year. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs>